All right, guys. Now let's set up our project. But before that, you need to have installed a few things inside your computer. The first one is Node.js. Using Node.js, we can install our React.js and also any other libraries that we need in this project. The next thing is a text editor. So you need to have an environment where you can write your codes. So in this case, I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. You can download it for free from the Google, okay? And also, you need to have a browser. And in this case, I'm going to use Google Chrome. All right, now let's install our React.js. To install React.js, I'm going to use Vit. So just open vitjs.dev. And in here, we need to click this Get Started. If I scroll down, you can see we have this line of code in here. So before that, open your VS Code. And inside here, we need to have an empty folder. Now let's copy this code from here. And we need to open a new terminal. Now just paste it here and because we are going to install this in the current directory just write this dot. Okay now using your keyboard you can choose react here. And we are going to use javascript and that's it. Now you can see I have successfully installed the react.js but you can see we don't have the node module here. So in here you can clear the terminal and just write npm install. Okay guys, as you can see we have these node modules here. Now let's install Telvin CSS. So for the styling we are going to use Telvin CSS. Again we are going to open the browser and in here you need to look for Telvin CSS for width. Now just open this website here. As you can see we have this code to install which is down here so I'm going to copy both of them from here and again we need to clear the terminal here and just paste it here okay now hit the enter okay guys we have successfully installed the Telvin CSS now you can see we have this telvin.config.js and also this post css.config.js all right now I'm going to open this back and again we need to replace our config file with this code i'm going to just replace that okay now as you can see we need to add this inside index.css so i'm going to copy this from here and i'm going to open this index.css here as you can see, I have some codes by default, so I'm going to delete everything from here and paste them here. Now we need to have a general setting also. And in here we can write at apply margin 0, padding 0, and box sizing border box, okay? So this is how you can write Telvin CSS inside a CSS file. As you can see, this is how we can write our Telvin CSS inside our JSX. So now let's run our application, but before that, we need to open this app.jsx. And in here, I'm going to delete all the codes. Okay. And I'm going to write here this heading 1, hello world. We need to have a class name here and for now I'm going to just change the text to be read color. Again open the terminal and just write npm run deep. Now you need to hold the control and just click this link here. Let me close all these tabs that I don't need. As you can see the text color has been changed. It means that we have successfully installed our Telvin CSS inside our React.js. All right. Actually, I don't need this CSS file here, so I'm going to delete this from here. And now we need to delete this also. Okay. Now, if I refresh the page, you can see all the paddings and margin has been gone. Alright, 
now we need to install our firebase so in here you need to look for firebase and you need to click this link here firebase.google.com as you can see i have already signed in so you will be asked for an authentication so just click this get started here so this is the dashboard of my firebase so in here we need to add a new project i'm going to name this project firebase block okay click continue continue okay now we need to choose our default account just create this project it will take a while for your project to be created your new project is ready now click this continue as you can see this is my new project but you need to click this here inside here we need to register our application again the application name is going to be firebase block if you want to have a firebase hosting you can click this if you don't want just unclick okay so in this case i'm not using firebase hosting so just click register now we need to install firebase so i'm going to copy this line of code from here again we need to open the terminal and i'm going to open a new terminal here and just paste it here as you can see down here we need to have a new file for our firebase so i'm going to copy all of this code from here and inside this search we need to have a new folder and i'm gonna name this firebase and firebase.js now paste all the code inside here okay i'm going to delete this comments here and also i don't need this all right as you can see our firebase has been successfully installed now in here actually you can hide this api keys you can make a env file but i'm not going to make that you can go ahead and do that yourself okay and down here we need to initialize our firebase so in this project we need authentication using google and email and we need to get our database which is coming from firebase file store and also we need to get the firebase storage to store all our images so now let's add them one by one so the first one we need to export auth for our authentication which is coming from get auth now let's import this so i'm going to copy this from here and and also we need this google provider so google auth provider so using this we can log in using google so i'm going to export a new variable here now we need to get our storage and finally we need to have db for our database and it's coming from this get file store now let's import this get file store and also we need to have this app inside our db okay and that's it this is how we can initialize our firebase file now let's have a new github repository so we can push our changes into it so i'm going to open the github and in here we need to have a new repository i'm gonna name this firebase blog post okay and you can add a description here i'm gonna leave this empty and we need to choose this private okay i'm going to create this repository and down here you can copy this again open the terminal and paste it here okay we have not initialized any repository so i'm going to click this initialize repository here now you can see all our changes have been listed here now i'm going to add it again 
okay i'm going to write git add git commit that error now we need to commit it okay now we need to push this just write this code here okay our repository is ready so if i refresh here you can see this is my react application that i just pushed to my github repository all right guys our setup is finished now let's make the ui of our project 